That's that. The one I want. Then the other thing I want to talk. I want to talk about Moscow, right? I wrote Moscow here. Um, because there are, believe it or not, there's organizations I haven't heard about Moscow. And uh, Moscow, it's spelled this way. It's not the, like, you know, conspiracy with the Russians or anything like that. It's just Moscow. The M stands for must have. Yeah, O doesn't stand for anything. S, this is so, so you remember, right? Um, the S stands for should have. C is for could have, because like we could do, we could put that capability in the in into the system, but do we want it? Um, and W, I I I give W like three definitions: something I want, I would like, okay, would like type in sideways, would like running no space, and I would call it wish. This is like the gold plating, right? So that's like gold plating, right? There we go. Now, I, so you do your priorities. Must has are things you really do in your sprint. The should has, it's like you should because um, it's really important for the system to work. Could is, could help you out. I mean, it's, it's, we could have this capability. Maybe it makes the, Experience or experience a little better, right? And wish is a wish list. I add a couple more things to here. In here, I put immediate, and I did a blog post on this return on investment. So, must have is like the system's down, we got to fix this. If we don't do this, we don't make, make any money. In between the should have and the must have are items that provide immediate cash into organization. So like if we we have a new product and we need to put it up on our um, in our catalog or something like that, and that's going to give us immediate return, it doesn't take much, but we get an immediate return, you do that, right? Because you won't always want to, I don't care what anybody says with the capitalism or, or investments and stuff, cash is still king, all <laughs> right? So cash is important. So if it's going to bring cash in the organization, and I, and I say this is like the cash kind of question that's not in Moscow, but if it's bringing a media ROA that goes in there, then between should and could, right in between here, I write saves money, right? So again, cash being king, I got immediate return on investment, saves money. Like if we do this, I don't, if I put automation test in for this one, you know, we don't have to hire five new people. Or if we do this, we save five steps in the process. Or if we we do something that used, to, if we automate something that used to take 10 clicks on the screen, and now it's going to take one click and the computer is going to do it automatically. And that's going to save us money from the labor associated with that. Then you do, that's where you save money. And that's between the should have and the could have, okay? And then I put in here, I put two other ones in here. Um, actually, I put one more in here. And the one I put in here, it's new customer. So could haves, between could haves and wishes is a new customer stuff. The reason why I put this new customer down here below if it's a new customer, it's raw. You don't know really if it's going to give you a return on investment. And I, and I have a matrix. Maybe I'll do a matrix one day to kind of show how this, but it's in my blog post. But the new customer, the ability of getting return on investment with a new customer is a lower uh, turnover rate, right? So you can go, you can go send something out to a thousand customers and get a one percent hit rate that they actually buy something. Now you need to do it. But it's definitely, I would, I would, I would help an existing customer with their issue more as a higher priority than something that was a new customer. So um, the reason being an existing customer, if you lose the existing, like if the existor, the could have may help existing customers to have a better environment 
and what they work in, right? So that's good. You want to retain. So this is like a retention thing, right? You want to improve so you can retain your customer just to make their experience better, right? But a new customer, you don't know if you're going to get that. But it's so much harder to get a new customer, right? It's very difficult. But to retain one, to lose a customer, and then bring the customer back. I mean, it's like a job, right? They say in a job. Once you start looking for a new job, you pretty much made your decision that you don't want to work there anymore. You're not going to be happy. It's be, so it's like the same thing with the customer. You still want you want to make sure you're retaining customers before you go on after new customers. Because if you can't retain your customer, it's going to be hard to get them back. But it it also depends, though, too. There are some customers that cost you way more money than you make. You don't retain the customers that cost you more money than you make because that's just doesn't make business sense. Um, maybe it's your software that's wrong, um, but there are customers out there that once you do everything and they want everything done for free and it just takes longer. How you doing? Going live five. We're live. We're live here at 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And we're kind of late today because it's like 6.30 in the morning when I was doing some stuff this morning. And uh, I always get up to have too much things to do. 